Ibaran fellow whose the mosque is named after is one of the most influential figures in the diffusion of the Bahrami sect of Islam and its belief system. This should be the Haji Bahram Mosque, you know, together with the Temple of Augustus over there. The Temple of Augustus is an Augustine located in the Ascendant district of Ankara. It is also thought to have been built just after the conquest of Galatia in the year 2520 AD. Guys, right now I'm at the, uh, the prison museum here in Ankara. So it's also a, a tourist attraction and so here we are. Let's go see it. I know you told your friend you're not okay. Kanla Prison Museum is a former state prison in Ankara, Turkey that was converted into a prison museum. The museum was opened in 2011. Yeah, I think this is the visiting room of this prison. Yeah, let's see. They have numbers, yeah. And if you, anyone want to talk to, they bring the person here. You can speak uh, with the person through this. The prison has about six rooms with prisoners per ETC. On the exit, you can find the execution point with names and years of the executed prisoners. This is the National Library in Ankara. So big. Millet could Panese is the National Library located inside the presidential complex and the library is said to be 125,000 square meters and can accommodate up to 5,000 people at a time. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look Floor 6 the National Library of the Presidency, also commonly referred to as the Presidential Library, is the largest library in Turkey with a collection of over 4 million printed books and over 120 million electronic editions published in 134 languages. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to show you some tourist attraction here in Ankara, the capital of Turkey. If this is your first time, please consider to subscribe, like, and tell me what you like most below. So, because it's a sunny day today here in Ankara, and the snows are falling off from the trees. As you can see, most of the snows are falling. So guys, I've arrived at the Temple of Augustus, so this is the environment. I'll try to go inside and... The... Okay, this is the Haja Bayram Mosque also. They have... Haji Bayram Mosque. I think this is the mosque here. It's together with the Temple of Augustus. I think so. I'm not really sure, but let's go and see how it is, man. It looks so pretty. Oh, yes, this is the place I saw on the internet. And they have, I think they have a free Wi Fi here. As you can see here. They have a free Wi-Fi. You can be able to connect. Ah. Look at this. Ah, it's not I've covered so many things. It's not I've covered a lot of things here. Which I cannot show properly. We cannot be seen properly rather. But yeah, we'll move. They have a mosque here. This should be the Haji Bayram Mosque. You know, together with the Temple of Augustus. Over there. This is what I saw on the internet, the Temple of Augustus. You know, one is not allowed to go inside. Beside there, just snow. Covered everywhere. You know. So guys, this is how this place looks like so far. And the... Uh, it's a nice place, I must say. You know, they have a very big mosque here. You know. I think one can go inside. Yeah, this is the Haji Baran. Yeah, I saw it on the internet as well. 
It's written over the Haji Baran. It's written in the entrance there. It's a very nice place. Maybe I think people are lined up to go inside. But before then, let me try and look around and see how it looks like. Then, if I'm allowed to go inside, then I can. But if I'm not, then I have no option. You know, it's a big place. One thing fascinating about in fact is that they have a lot of tourist attraction and the, so many archaeological sites to visit. You know, so I recommend anyone who who come to Turkey try and go around Turkey. Not only Istanbul, Istanbul also has a lot of things. You know, so many tourist places to visit. <coughs> wow, this is it. Look at it there. Oh, they have elevator too, so I can go. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> You speak, you speak English? English? Ah, Turkey? Turkey. Turkey. Maraba. Nasi si. Iyi sen nasi. Iyi. YouTube mu çekiyor? Ne? YouTube mu çekiyor? Evet, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube mu? Evet. Yeah. Kanalın ne kanalın? YouTube, okay, okay. So you're trying to know Zak Nation. Takip edeyim. Tamam, bir dakika. Nation. No. Ah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah, tamam, tamam, tamam. I'm trying to give him my YouTube name. Yeah, bu. Takip et, abone ol. Okay, okay, okay. Ha, tamam. Tamam, dur be abi, bu taraf çekinelim, kanka dur. Okay, 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 okay. Tamam dur, okay. Teşekkürler kanka. Alright. Then later, this video, bu. Okay. I'm tired, you see, okay? Tamam dur. He subscribed to my channel as well. He's a very good fellow. You know, actually, Turkish people are good. Not, you know, they have a the bad ones but i must say that 80 percent of them are 85 percent of them are very good and they welcoming and also there are people to you can communicate with just like this fellow now you know he just felt, saw me i was like waving at me then i had to exchange words with him okay yeah this is the back of the uh, Temple of St. Augustus, St. Temple of Augustus, you know, this is the back of Temple of Augustus. Beside him, beside this place, they have uh, Haji Baram Mosque as well, you know. A lot of snows everywhere, which one cannot go inside to see, you know. Actually, some people have been asking me, why don't you interview, you know, some Turkey people while traveling yes I, of course i i intend doing that but the issue is that like as you can just see as you just saw what happened a few minutes ago there most of them do not speak english when they try to say hello when you try to approach them you know they wouldn't talk to you besides let me sit there if you try to talk to them they will especially when you say hello to them they will just walk past you so not so won't give you any attention so how are you going to talk to someone who does not give you attention? You know, it's only few of them, like 5% that speaks English or 7% around the whole of Turkey. So you can imagine that it's not an English speaking country. So it's only but as you travel, you meet people, you see few that speak English, you'll be able to talk to them, be able to, you know, interact with them as they was your name and all that, they'll be able to tell you one or two. But Outside that, you cannot just travel and see them. They'll ask you, like, who are you or what's your name. They'll be able to respond back to you. Most of them wouldn't give you attention at all. They'll just walk past you. 
So that's the issue. If not, it's my intention to ask them, like interviewing them. But hey, I can't kill myself. So that's it. You know, this is the side of Temple of Augustus. As we just walk right around the back, the side, the other side is the front. And snow has covered the downside here, which you cannot see how properly the what is there. And around here, they have a good park where you can sit down and relax and take, you know, one or two things. Yeah, this is it so far. Meanwhile, do not watch this video and keep it alone. Make sure subscribe, like, and tell me what you think in the comment section. Drop your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Until then, I see you again in my next location. This is Haji Baraveli Tom and one of the oldest mosques in Ankara, dating back to 17th century Ottoman Empire. He was an Ottoman poet and the founder of the Bayern Order. He also composed a number of hymns. The mosque was named after him, Haji Baran Valley. The mosque is, also, is said to be one of the best known mosques in Ankara. He was born in 1352 and died in 1430. Guys, right now I'm at the, uh, the prison museum here in Ankara. So it's also a, a tourist attraction and so here we are. This is it. Actually, I've been walking for over 20, 26 minutes. Look at this. Ah, wow, looks nice. So this is it. Let's go see it. We are trying to go inside now and see how it looks like. I think they, that's a fee for it. Maraba. Nice to see you. Nicola? We are good. One lira. One lira. One lira. I'm trying to pay, sir. So one lira, which is ten lira. Ah, okay. Whatever. Nice to see you. Oh, that's good. So we are inside this uh, place of the prison museum. So I want to see how it looks like. But I think I have to go from here first. Then after that, I'll be able to go around. So the things is written in their language, but you can see the bed with the prisoners are staying there. This is a prison cave. If you 
sees and uh, sees someone is there. It's just like in a room, everyone has his own room. This place looks like a kind of meeting arena, you know, a meeting assembly where you can come and, you know, maybe prisons where they bring them out to lecture them and tell them one, to, one or two things. And also, I think this could, this could be the prisoners and their years. It's also written here. So they have a lot of them here. So we're gonna go inside this place and see what it is. It could be another prison, another prison room. It's written Kogus for. I don't know the meaning of that, but the letter, I'll have to Google it out and I'll have to check the translation for. Yeah. Oh, this is what I saw on the internet. This oh, yeah. Okay, this is their kitchen where they cook food and um, yeah. This is their kitchen and their pot. Ah, to check it out. Their pots and the beds and also the kettles where they use the hot water. You know, this is their tap where they take water from. And also, yeah, this is the toilets over there. This is the toilets and they are, uh, you know, the uh, tower they used to clean your hand. That's great. So this is the general, this is the general room, the massive room of the, of the prison. You know, look at it. It looks like very if you are looking at it, you think I just want be sitting down, but it's not. You know? Look at this on his bed. This one has no leg. I don't know. Oh. It's a reading book. So I'm sleeping and reading his book and it's not about taking the relaxing of idea. This one is thinking about his life of idea. It's emotional. You know. So this is it. This is a kind of cinema hall. Where they gather to watch. This room you can find what the prisoners use during their jail time, such as manual typewriting, machine, books, badges, shoes, wallets, etc. Another thing that fascinates me most is the way their names are being placed on their bed. <music> Six of the prison. So I think here they they put the names of people, you know, on the bed. They, maybe the bed where they stay during their prison time. Maybe. And here they have some other. They have some things, comb and watches and all that. And the books they read is also here. You can see the operating machine and the uh, camera over there. And the IDs are also here. 
Yeah, I think this is the visiting room of this prison. Yeah, let's see. They have numbers, yeah. Maybe if anyone want to talk to, they bring the person here. You can speak uh, with the person through this area. Or the person can be here, the prisoner can be here while they talk to the prisoner from the other area. I'm just coming out from the from this bed in the prison, you know. It's so emotional after going through the whole places, you know, seeing some people like it looks like human beings, but they are not. You know, see what they go through and all that. So it's so emotional. But all the same, yeah, we are done from here. So now we are heading to another destination. Keep watching and uh, keep subscribing. Wow, look at the beautiful city of Ankara. See how beautiful it looks like on the streets of Ankara. Very nice. Hello guys, welcome to the Turkey most largest national library, which has over 4 million printed books and over 120 million electronic editions published in 134 languages. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being This is the National Library of Ankara. This is the National Library. Professional Makina. Professional I was stopped from using my camera to using my GoPro to make the video, but but I can use my phone. This is the National Library in Ankara. So big. I was supposed to be covering this with my camera, but I was stopped. I was told not to use my camera because of security reasons, best known to them. So. I have to use my phone to cover this. You know, they see camera like, I don't know. You know, but all the same, I'm fine. You know, as much as I can use my phone. It's nice. Look at the name. They call it Milit Good Person. Wow, look at how beautiful this thing looks like. This is the top floor, floor six. Once again, this is the National Library of Ankara. For me, coming to know this place means a lot to me and I find this library fascinating and it is indeed beautiful and very big. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey as you fade away, as you fade away, yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. Guys, here I met my my friends actually from the uh, 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 Ankara uh, Melet Good Person. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the place. They're trying to take pictures and all that with me, so which they say they want to watch it on, on YouTube when I post it. That's why I'm making this video here. So say hello. Hi guys. Hello. What's your name? Things. Things. What's your name? Furkan. 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 Yes. My surname is Your name is what? 
Fenasi Kerim. My Fena surname. Your surname? Aynen. Okay, your name Hiç is what? Name Cengiz. Uh -huh. Surname Fenasi Kerim. Uh, Fenasi Kerim. You have Instagram? Instagram? Instagram, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. So this is how it is for today. But for now, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Something that just happened here. Now. So when I enter, I use my ID, and without your ID, you cannot enter. Without your ID, you cannot come out. Like, you know, it's crazy. But it's for security conscious. Look at the building at my back. That building you are seeing at my back. That's a national library here in Ankara. So guys, see you guys later. This is the city center of Ankara. Yeah, I have so many bands. All the bands here in Turkey, you find them on this street. Yeah, this is the city center, there. it's a popular street. Yeah, you have to telephone, you have Vodafone. You can see Guarantee Trust, you can see ING Bank over there. Down there, you find other banks. So guys, I hope you find this video interesting and educative. If you do, please consider to subscribe, like, and tell me what you liked most in the comment below. See you in my next video. Peace out.